we just said, let's skip Thanksgiving. Let's go right into Christmas. <laughs> welcome back to the channel my name is Taylor and we are back with a Christmas video I kind of got my little like reef up in the back you probably cannot see but I was trying to get in the holiday spirit but you know you get the vibes you get the vibes so without further ado if you're interested in seeing how I've done this look thus far or if you saw the intro and you're interested in seeing how the look comes out then keep on going ahead and primed my eye I used the P. Louise base in the shade rumor 5 but that's nothing new so this entire eyeshadow look with the exception of this red liner situation we got going on is going to be created with the crayon case the matte book and we're going to just be using the green shades and like some of the red I'm actually pleasantly surprised at how the red turned out I didn't think the red was going to be suitable to my needs but it is so let's get into it you can't tell already this look is going to be a Christmas inspired look country Christmas so much of how I treated October I want to create looks I didn't post any of those looks on YouTube but they are on my Instagram now it's not the ideal environment that we're celebrating Christmas in but I'm actually really looking forward to Christmas like I'm looking forward to the looks the lights Christmas is actually one of my favorite I love fall but I think Christmas is my favorite like spiritually I always feel my very best self around Christmas time so what you plan to do is going to be done with pretty much um, black owned brand. Crayon Case is a black owned brand as mentioned before on my channel and I'm now going to be like creating this like half liner shape with the Juvia's Place Liquid Lipstick. This is their Lulu Matte. hate most about working with the with the P. Louise base as a cut crease product is that it creases so much on me. I hate that. Like, I don't know, maybe it's just me. I feel like other people use it and they don't have the same failures that I do, but every time I use it, and to me it's like the perfect product to cut my crease with. But it creases on me so bad. I hate it. I'm gonna be cute and actually put some chunky red glitter right over top of the Juvia's Place liquid lipstick. The lashes are applied and now we're doing the face now. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Primer. I'm not sure how I feel about this. I feel like I bought it because it was new and I don't even know where I bought it from. I think I bought it from Ulta. I mean, I just remember swearing by the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray when I first got into makeup. And I was like, okay, so if the setting spray is good, then I know the primer must be good as well. So I'm gonna be going in with my Juvia's Place Foundation. This is the I Am Magic Foundation in the shade Kano. in with the makeup trio that I always go in with my Juvia's Place concealers for highlighting and contouring this is 10 and 2 and then the elf hydrating concealer in the shade deep cinnamon
Let it snow. Let it snow. So we just said, let's skip Thanksgiving. Let's go right into Christmas. We wouldn't be bronzing with my Morphe bronzer. This is the Glamour. This is the Glamour bronze in the shade Leader. I'm gonna go into my crayon case blush finder and I really don't know what shade of blush goes well with this look. I might dip into some orange. I might dip into, I might dip into a little bit of this. Should I do this? This is like an orange red. I don't know. So now I'm gonna go in with my Crayon Case and Galola Highlighter Powder. I told y'all based off this title, I was going to be primarily using black-owned brands. We are getting into the spirit using black-owned brands as well. For lips, I'm gonna be kind of cheating this a little bit. I'm gonna be taking the Julius Place lipstick. This one is in the shade Mademoiselle. The Maybelline Tattoo Studio Gel Liner. Take this high shine gloss this is by la colors and this isn't wasn't even originally mine this was like in a lip gloss set sitting around my house and i just like it a lot it's really pretty finish up with my fenty beauty what it do setting mist So this is the completed look. I hope that you all enjoyed this video and how this look came out especially. If you enjoyed how this look came out, if you enjoyed this video, I know it was really chill. I thought I was gonna have more to say, like that this is gonna be more of a chit chat video, like two videos ago that I did. So I didn't have a lot to say, but if you enjoyed how I created this look using primarily black owned products, then go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Um, be sure to subscribe and feel free to comment down below and make sure to follow your girl on social for more up close on this look yeah. um, Thank you all once again for watching. I love you. Stay safe and stay beautiful